अस्सलाम वालेकुम डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू पीएमडीसी ऑनलाइन लेक्चर रूम और टुडेज लेक्चर इज सेल मेम्ब्रेन टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ एफ पार्ट फर्स्ट बायोलॉजी इन दिस लेक्चर वी हैव टू नो अबाउट द डेफिनेशन केमिकल कंपोजिशन स्ट्रक्चर मॉडल्स एंड फंक्शन ऑफ सेल मेम्ब्रेन फाइनली एन असाइनमेंट इन द लास्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर सेल मेम्ब्रेन सेल मेम्ब्रेन इज आल्सो नोन एज प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन व्हिच इज डिफाइंड एज अ थिन एलास्टिक डेलिकेट एंड अ सेमी परमेबल मेम्ब्रेन इट इज द आउटर मोस्ट बाउंड्री लेयर ऑफ एनिमल सेल बट सराउंडेड बाय सेल वॉल इन प्लांट फंगल एंड बैक्टीरियल सेल्स इट इज कैपेबल ऑफ सेल्फ रिपेयरिंग केमिकल कंपोजिशन Plasma membrane chemically composed of proteins 60 to 80 percent, lipids 20 to 40 percent. But among lipids, 90 percent are phospholipids, and some amounts of cholesterol also found. Carbohydrates 2 to 10 percent. Structure of plasma membrane. So as we know that. plasma membrane is a thin delicate elastic and 7 nanometer wide structure which is self repairable when it gets damaged under electron microscope cell membrane appear a bilayered structure now different models uh, given by different biologists so the model for cell membrane structure many biologists proposed different structural organization for cell membrane for example two layers of lipid molecules only proposed by gorter and grendel in 1925 unit membrane model proposed by robertson in 1959 fluid mosaic model proposed by sj singer and gl nicholson in 1972 among all these model fluid mosaic model is the most acceptable model now let us uh, have to know about the uh, fluid mosaic model in detail according to this model the lipid of the plasma membrane is in fluid condition and the proteins have mosaic like appearance so called fluid mosaic model more uh, arrangement about the fluid mosaic model is given below the arrangement of this model is uh, uh, basically Uh, lipid bilayer proteins glycolipids glycoproteins lipid bilayer as you know that the lipid uh, composed of phospholipids proteins so proteins are embedded in the lipid bilayer as a mosaic manner which includes extrinsic protein intrinsic proteins permeases extrinsic proteins are also known as surface protein while intrinsic proteins are partially or fully embedded in the lipid bilayer in spite of the uh, uh, intrinsic and extrinsic protein there are permeases which are charged protein through which the movement of material takes place uh, glycolipids and glycoprotein these are the conjugated molecule glycolipid is the association of carbohydrates with lipids while glycoprotein is an association of carbohydrates with proteins but both glycolipids and glycoproteins provide receptor sites for the reception of different stimuli and inform the cell let's have a close uh, look about the diagrammatic representation this is a uh, diagram of plasma membrane Uh, the, the, the on the right side below show the phospholipid bilayer and at the top show glycoprotein and glyco uh, lipids among them there are also channels so the two top layer red show the uh, lipid bilayer and among them the proteins are also shown now functions of cell membrane cell membrane is a main important part of the cell so the first and the primary function of the plasma membrane 
that it gives mechanical strength, support, protection, and external form to the protoplasm, I mean cytoplasm. It is semi-permeable membrane, so it prevents or allow selective materials to pass through it. Plasma membrane also control entry and exit of polar molecules and ions. Plasma membrane also obtain nutrients. It also excrete waste substances like urea and uric acid. They also secrete useful hormone and enzyme. And finally, plasma membrane maintains suitable pH and ionic concentration when the cell for the enzyme activity is ready. Finally, here is an assignment. We have discussed all the parameter of the plasma membrane. So it is an assignment for you that why lipid makes the plasma membrane differentially permeable membrane and why proteins make the plasma membrane selectively permeable membrane. Thanks. Take care of yourself.